Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, where we last left off, things got really bad. Yuri and Natsuki had a fight. It was really bad. They swore. They said swears. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. What did you say? Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. She hasn't made that face at me before, has she? I don't think she has. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Jared, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Sorry, I had a hiccup. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Hmm. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take the res that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Jared. Is there like a secret fear of Monica? It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. But... God, no! I wasn't re- oh. I totally get why this game has a warning saying if you have anxiety you shouldn't play it. Cause you're on- oh it just sits you on edge like high alert high edge for so long. And like it just got to the moment where I was like kind of coming down off of that and it just shot me right back up. Oh god. Alright I guess I'm writing another poem. Um, incongruent, infinite, extraordinary, anxiety, uh, disarray. I'm gonna keep going for Yuri though. Uh, misfortune, philosophy. Uh, uh, oh, oh no, that. Why did I pick that one? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh god, I'm sorry. Uh, yep, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Don't care, don't care. Why did I do that? Oh. Oh! Oh, God. I was gonna do a joke. I did it for, for, as a goof. I was gonna be like, heard this word, put that in my palm. Okay. Uh, and then another text file just showed up in my folder. Um, it's a, it's a text document and it's just titled I, like the letter I, but it's a letter I like 40 times in a row. Oh, I am afraid to read this. Does, does reading these like mess up the game? Oh, talk to me, sorry. I hate this. Okay, okay it says I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? It's one of the girls doesn't like the others. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Jared. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little bit. Um, uh -huh. Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday? I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. Well, with the... With the glitchy stuff? 
are you getting mad at Masuki? Something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't take, make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're, apologize, now that you're apologizing, I know you didn't really mean it. Uh, Jared, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Huh? No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. Is Monica okay? I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday? I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something, yes do something yesterday? She did forget. Why did she forget? Oh... Mm-mm. Oh, maybe she didn't forget. Or did. Or it's being weird. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Yeah, that's weird. You're kind of a person that worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but... Oh, what the f- Why? 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 Why is that? Oh, gross. Oh. My bulls, sailcloth, blindsight, lifeline, and in... Those aren't all words. Oh, go away, go away. Gross? Gross. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I always find... I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> I guess you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry! Is it you? Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not! <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good at it yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Ah, oh, well, thanks, Yuri. There's a skirt flip. You should play something for us sometime. Uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Jared. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. Where did the other two go? Please bring them back. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Nope. Not at all. No weird mouths or anything. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about yet. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Jared, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing to make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Okay. Making tea again. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a water filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. She's got some really long legs, and it's awesome. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No. Oh, she did. Oh. Alright. No. It's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass? Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Oh, no. No. Let's not do this again. No. No. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most... The most logical place for you to be would be to the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha! 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Oh, no. Oh, no. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone's sucking in air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner, peer around it. Yuri? Oh! Yeah, there it is. Oh, not cool. Not cool. Mm-mm. Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, God! Not cool! Not cool! Not cool! Stop, stop, stop! Why is this happening? Hold on. What did that say? It doesn't show. It just like erased that. It. It's like that whole part just didn't happen. I'm back! Is there any more shit in here? Thanks for waiting patiently. Jared, do you like oolong tea? Yeah! Anything is fine! Very well. You resets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything. Yep. Oh. Yep, you're gonna impress me with your tea making skills. <sighs> you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. Yep, try to express yourself a little bit more. It's not very hard to do me to do when it's you that's around anyway. Uh, that's great, Eerie. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Jared. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Yeah, look at her. Dragon Ball Z, remember? Haha, <laughs> good joke. Haha. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit on the floor? Yep, we're sitting on the floor because your boobs are too big, remember? Yeah, I didn't realize. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so you're trying to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because of my... Uh, my... my your posture, right? I have a terrible reading posture. That's why I wish it's on the floor. Fair enough. God, I was... I was actually really on edge just all that because I was really expecting the game to just do something like terrifying or like 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 it would just take the word boob which is like inherently like sexual and generally like pleasurable for most people and then like somehow use that as a moment to be like ah, I retrieved the book from my bag uh, I have some chocolate as well oh, I'm doing the chocolate thing again Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at her size. As if in sync, take the same reading position. Our bodies even closer together. Yuri slides closer to our shoulders touching. 
Uh, Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand, holding the book. Yep, harder to focus, because I don't want to touch her boobies. It is all my real power to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. <sighs> yep, try to give her chocolate, but she doesn't want any. Yep, don't want to get smudges on the pages. I didn't even think about that, my bad. Of course. Oh god, she's... I'm gonna, f I'm gonna feed her the chocolate and she's gonna just bite off my finger or something. And just be like, mmm, blood, tasty. Oh god. I take a chocolate candy, pop it in my mouth, another chocolate, hold it up to Yuri, she doesn't even look away from the book, I simply parts her lips as if the situation is completely natural. That doesn't mean I can't stop here. I apparently place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, she closes her lips over it. Has not bitten off my finger. Did I just... It looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Sorry, I guess I should have done that. <laughs> Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Why did the music stop? I... I can't... Jared... Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Jared... My heart... Oh... Did she just pull me to the closet? My heart wants to pounding, Jared. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Jared? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Oh, why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I thought this was going to be a sexy thingy, but now it's a scary thingy. I, I can't make it stop. It even makes me want to not read. I just want to look at you. Oh, no. Oh, the eyes are twitchy. <sighs> Oh no. Oh, please don't kill me in the closet. Ah. Ah. Oh, God. Monica. It's time to share poems. <sighs> Who should I show my poem to first? Oh my God. Ah. <sighs> oh. I remember what I wrote. I'm gonna say... I think I should say not, Yuri. Let's say... Let's go... Let's go with Natsuki. Hey, I've... I feel like I've been... Unfairly unfriendly to you. Yeah, just as I thought. Jared, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you're spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about pressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Jared? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I just don't really feel like talking right now. Please go away. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go with doing Yuri last. I feel like that could... That might be a good thing. Jared, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you, which should be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Oh, that might even be, like, a sexual thing. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. She's a masochist. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her? I'm not saying it's her fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me? The colors, they won't bright. It's, it's straight up missing, like, v uh, vowels. Bright, beautiful colors. Flishing, spinning, piercing, red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise won't stop. Violent 
Berating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Endless, uh, meaningless. Delete her? <gasps> Ooh, I saw that, I saw that. Delete her, like there's a characters folder. Monica, Natsuki, and Yuri. But I don't see Sayori. Sayori, oh no, the world reset and Sayori was deleted. But she's still here sending me happy thoughts. And ghost messages? I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. <laughs> and it happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Oh no. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh. Gotta take that fourth wall and just punch it down. All right, Eerie. Hello. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. I don't know what I wrote. Do you like it? Jared, this one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick this up on this so quickly? Oh, it was a lot of panic-induced writing. What lie? Just yesterday, I was kind of telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Jared. Everything you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Jared? I'm not being weird, right? No. I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed, but right now I just want you to read my poem too, okay? Oh, oh jeez. Oh, this is a lot of, this is a lot of, a lot of words. All right. Uh, wheel, a rotating wheel, turning in axle, grinding, bolt head, linear, gearbox, falling sky, seven holy sticks, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding scar stars. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. 40 gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks that one, one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks for 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked chip to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of frosty gears and open human... Oops. I accidentally clicked. Well, that was weird, anyway. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a pen fell out of your back bed yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Uh, I'm okay. What, I, what did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. 
Oh no. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Oh, last time I did this, it was Ghost Sayori giving me a sad. Mm. Fine. Okay. Uh, so it's just a confidential document. N O T H I N G. Oh, nothing is real? Question mark. Jump scare. What just happened? What's wrong with my face? Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Oh, God. Did I just get stabbed? Oh, it's about the festival. Oh, the noises. Oh, the noises. That's just... The Did I just die? Ah, dear, fuck! <laughs> oh, dead! That wasn't even a jump scare. All I did was press spacebar like I was advancing the text. God damn it! Oh. Oh. I don't know why that got me so bad. It shouldn't have. There was nothing there. It just came back like normal. This isn't normal. No, this is normal. Oh. All right, don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Jared joined and we started some club activities, but now isn't the time for us to be complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is only our real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's a key. I don't think you're really looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves, like they can do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. Oof. Oh, I was getting pretty intimate just a little bit ago. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Jared? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Jared to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Jared joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Oh. Hmm. And Jared isn't even passionate about literature in the first place, and that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are just fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. I don't think you should be pissing her off. Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Jared want to get more members too, right? I, I, I just got here. I'm already having a hard enough time. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then... Oh, is that me? If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Uh, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Jared, why did you, why did you even join this club? Why are you hoping to get out of it? Ah, uh, laid. Laid, but... Like, not weird sex, just like... Good... Vanilla... Standard... Missionary... Solely for the... Uh, purposes of procreation. Just... Oh, well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, 
If I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Mm, yeah, I didn't. I haven't really been given a lot of choices. This has just been kind of happening. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. Oh, she has a bad home life. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not... She's not taking anything away. No, Jared. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, God! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Oh, I'm never ready for it. Ugh. Oh, I've been on edge so much playing this freaking game. Oh no. <sighs> Is that the secret? Did I screw up this whole time? Is Natsuki like secretly like the good one? And I've been screwing up this whole time by. I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. <gasps> oh no. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. <coughs> what about you, Jared? What do you want to get out of this club? I just want to go home, to be honest. You repeat the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something they can't get anywhere else and for everyone to like each other and for everyone to have fun. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. Huh? Well, that's what will end up making the literature club a special place, uh -huh, right? I see. I really agree with you. Each member could Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Your eye is bleeding. Is this foreshadow? With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while, so if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Uh, um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And your eyes better, so that's good. And also a wonderful friend. Monica... I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah, let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Jared? Uh, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Jared before we leave. Oh. Oh, I'm scared. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Jared, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm...
kind of responsible for that as president. Oh, no, it's happening again. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. And you know what I mean? But it's, but it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No, stop it! Oh no. The only real people here... I have not been doing anything with Monica at all. Is that what's ruining it? I mean, you... You can't though, she doesn't even have a thingy. She's self-aware. Because we basically, like, she basically had like her first scene with me, like one-on-one, -on -one, where we talked about feelings and stuff, and it just started to fade away like the scene was ending, and she was clearly upset by that. Or... Frickin' ghosts, Ghost Sayori is making sure that she doesn't? Oh. Oh, I'm connecting dots in my head. Sayori kept talking about stuff that she said to her, quote unquote. Like Monica, Monica was saying stuff to her. Oh, God. Oh, okay, you know what? We'll continue this in this next episode. Uh, oh, okay. Next episode. Oh, gonna do another poem! Yay! Uh, okay, as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time!